It's about something which people take very, very seriously and yet which makes them look absurd. There is this enormous pressure on you to sort of conform to what is the established, declared appearance of the month, really. And I think cosmetic surgery is, is this sort of the absurd conclusion of that when you're being pressurised almost into reshaping your face and your body to kind of suit what is perceived as, as being uh, a good shape to be. One of the things I discovered researching cosmetic surgery is that it doesn't stop. You know, if you have a facelift and you tighten up your face, suddenly your wrists appear a lot fattier than they actually are because they're out of proportion to your face. So you then have to have a, I don't know what you'd call it, you'd have to have a, 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 a wrist lift. Working with Amanda Iannucci was very enjoyable and it was really just a challenge to myself to write something that was a contemporary subject. I didn't want to um, use an existing text or an existing play. There is a village in the Swiss Alps at which it is a very very exclusive uh, cosmetic surgery clinic run by the brilliant cosmetic surgeon Dr. Needlemeyer. Needlemeyer's wife is called Larnia, who every year Needle, Dr. Needlemeyer gives her an improved face. Meanwhile, her daughter is running off with uh, Robert, uh, a, a delivery boy in the village, uh, but will only marry Robert if Robert agrees to certain things being done to him to improve his, um, to improve his uh, upper features and lower features. I don't like the word opera. You, I find it puts people off a, a lot. I wanted to write something that was very theatrically alert and very fast moving and very light. Uh, with Italian parents, I always had opera played in the background at home when I was a kid. Just Verdi and Puccini, very, very loud. But also someone like Dr. Needlemeyer is a figure you get in um, you know, he's Dr. Morrow, or he's, um, he's, he's Dr. Frankenstein, or, or he's the scientist in Metropolis, or he's this sort of the, the, the guy who thinks he's got very good intentions, very brilliant scientifically, but is completely and utterly misguided. I, I hope people will come just to expect an enjoyable, theatrical, very visual, colourful show. I don't want to do down Opera North and all, that they, all the good work they do, but opera is fundamentally absurd. Yet when it works, I can't think of anything better. Do you know what I mean? When the whole evening, the design, the music, the acting, the performance, the stage, everything, when it comes together, you cannot think of anything that can surpass that.